welcome back to a brand new episode brought to you by Games Glitches. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at Dung Beetles. And of course, on how you can obtain yourself one of these wonderful poop collectors. Now, let's take a look at the map that I obtained from Wiki. As you can see here, this map has locations of all the caves. I'm currently located at the Southern Cave, which is 68.3, 56.1. You could easily see this if you would get yourself a GPS with coordinates. You will have no problem finding this cave. So, I am extremely deep within the cave. So far that I have managed to finally find myself some bugs. First thing that you need to know about these beetles is the fact that they are tamed passively meaning that you cannot use a trank rifle on them tranquilize them and then just feed them what you need to do is well follow them around now let's get on with the taming first you would need to put the meat into of course the zero slot you would need to preferably crouch like this so uh, this allowed me to get closer to some insects like dung beetles and other dinos without them noticing me personal experience maybe it doesn't work as well for you as it did for me but this is just again a recommendation once of course you position yourself quietly behind the dino you would see that a feed of raw meat to tame would appear now you would of course click e and of course as you could see i'm on this one time server uh one times tame server therefore as you could see, this is how much you would tame automatically on a level 6 dung beetle. Then of course you would need to sit around and wait for it to get hungry again. And then you'll be able to feed it once more. Now, there's of course other things that you could definitely feed this dino aside from, well, the raw meat. The, more progr the best thing that you could definitely feed it would be the giant poop. Or, of course, if you don't have that accessible, different poops in general would be wonderful to feed to this dino. As you could see here, you could also feed it with the spoiled meat. Let's take a look. As you could see, it's taming progress while it's going down. It's, well, quite insignificant at this point. Of course, I waited a moment. So, we'll have a fresh tame from the very start so you could see exactly how much it increases by. So, we're going to feed it one spoiled meat. Which actually makes a jump, as you could see, quite significant. A lot more, several 10 to 20 times more than she would get from, of course, feeding it raw meat. Now, of course, we're going to try to feed the most favorite thing to the dung beetle, a giant poop. Whoa, as you could see, the jump from the giant poops is quite significant. Honestly, after testing all the different size of poop, the giant poop turned out to be the best. After, of course, you tamed yourself a Mr. Poop, it's time for you to experiment with your poop gatherer. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, I could imagine him on some crazy servers with wonderful different colors, you know, whole different color scheme that doesn't exist in, the, you know, the uh, classical client. They would look like goddamn Skittles all over the place. Paint them different colors and shit, red, green, and blue and stuff. You know, you got yourself a fucking rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Just in case, I'm also going to throw in this informational chart from, for you that I have obtained from Wiki that approximates on a one-time server how long and how much of something you would need to tame a different sets and levels of dung beetles. As you could see here, it gives you an approximation of how much poop you would need to have with you to tame a particular level and the size of the poop that you would require. After you have of course tamed your dino, what you need to do is of course enable wandering and preferably enable, well, victim collection. Of course, if you don't want victim connection, you could just enable wandering. And as your dinos tend to poop, it will walk around and collect it. But please note that your dino, the beetle, has very, very little weight that it can carry. 
even when you add weight it adds it by point something point two point three very insignificant amount so it won't be able to carry a lot of poop as you could see here it can't carry a lot of poop the large animal poop takes up four weight a single one please note that this is all on modded and would be on legit classic servers the small animal poop is 0 0.3 so you could have you know quite a good amount of that on him and you could have a quite a ton of a human poop uh, you know collected in his inventory because it's only 0 0.1 so if your beetle is not collecting poop, he could be either full or his wandering might be disabled. Or could, there could be other problems with the server or the game and so on. But my managed to be on wandering and managed to pick up the poop until his inventory filled up. Beetles also don't seem to have to, uh, gender. So I'm pretty sure you can't mate them, but please don't quote me on that because I haven't really tried. I'm definitely gonna see if it's possible to mate these two dung beetles, you know, get myself another one and see what happens. I hope you all enjoyed this nice little video on the dung beetles. I hope you all go out and explore yourself some wonderful caves and find yourself a beetle and tame it. Please note that it's easier to tame them when they are by themselves rather than when they're grouped because, well, if one attacks, the other one assists most definitely. So. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please click like, please click subscribe, and I'll see you in a next ARC video. Thank you all, and be safe in the world of ARC.